hey kickers, AJ here. So for those of you who've been following me on Instagram, you guys know that I've been quarantine training since the pandemic started. I really haven't gone out much, nor have I hung out with a lot of people. There you go, buddy. On the bright side, quarantine has really allowed me to focus on my work and home training. Been hella productive, pushing out more content for you guys and connecting with martial arts lovers from all over. And some of you guys ask when I post tricking and flip videos on my feed, are you a tricker? No, I'm a total novice. I consider myself a martial artist first and foremost, but I've always admired trickers for their aerial prowess. If anything, I'm a kicker, not a tricker. So, while maintaining the uh, boxing and Muay Thai training that G's taught me, I figured why not brush up on some sports martial arts considering I have a decent martial arts base to follow online instruction. Practicing the style doesn't really require you to train with anyone else, although it would be easier to get pointers in person. And it will help me brush up my performance skills for action on film, that way I can be more dynamic on screen. And one of the things that I wanted to get that is on my wish list in order to learn more of the flips and tricks side of sports martial arts is an air mat. If you don't know what an air mat is, it's basically a portable spring floor that ranges in the size of a boogie board to as long as a classic tumble track that you would see at a gymnastics gym. Ever since hopping on a spring floor, I've been hooked on the little high you get from flying through the air. I was always curious how an air mat felt to an actual spring floor. And then I got the opportunity to actually try one last year in person, and it was everything that I could ever imagine. I thought it was going to be a while till I ever had the opportunity to use one again, but luckily for me, I didn't have to wait too long. Thank you to Zephyrmad for sending over their air mat, which I'm very happy that I'm actually able to use this on a regular basis because my smart idea was to get one of the biggest ones that they offer and I kind of ran into a little bit of a problem. I didn't have enough space, but after clearing out some stuff in the basement, it's been pretty good. So now happy bouncing and doing all this cool stuff and maybe do some flips, who knows, but I'm just having a lot of Okay, maybe not jumping anymore. Wasn't planning to be stuck indoors for this long. Just planning to shoot with an air mat this size took a little bit more time than I thought. Oh, we're here, it's here, and it's bouncing. After maximizing space in the studio area, the Zephyr mat fits. Just rarely though. So advice if you're going to be getting an air mat, make sure you consider the space that's available to you so that way when you do train with your hair mat, you're able to use it to the fullest ability. There's different sizes available, so make sure you use the link down below to check out what air mat fits your needs. So thank you to Zephyr Mats for being so understanding and patient with the whole situation going on that we're all experiencing right now. They are a great company and also have quality products. And I'm, I really am not just saying that just because they sent me an air mat. I really, really do love training on this thing and it's everything that I could have expected and more. So today we are going to be tricking and flipping. Those were the last couple of videos. There's a lot of benefits to using an air mat for typical martial arts drills, contradictory to what most would believe. So here are my five reasons why you should incorporate an air mat into your martial arts training. Impact absorption. I can only do a handful of flips and tricks. So most of my focus goes into cleaning up my jump kicks. Because when it comes to performance, the cleaner the technique, the better. While basic jump kicks are simple in comparison to aerial tricks, they are fundamental. Drilling for clean jump kicks develops a base for more complicated kick tricks down the line. And like everything, you have to drill over and over and over again. This can cause a lot of stress on your joints when landing on harder surfaces. But with the Zephyr Mat, this minimizes the stress on your joints so that way you can train more. More reps with assisted rebounding. Not only does the Zephyr Mat allow for softer landings than your traditional foam and rubber mats, it allows for more reps because of the ease on the joints and the assisted rebounds. When drilling regular kicks and jump kicks, the Zephyr Mat acts like a mini springboard that allows you to bounce right back into motion. More reps means more practice, which hopefully means more progress. Hair time. Jump height isn't the only thing you should be working on to improve your jump kicks. However, having more airtime does help. 
What I like about having extra air time is that I can focus on the execution of the kick. I can get my body familiar with the motions in the air so that way when I have to train on solid ground, I can try to recreate that same feeling. Stabilizer, muscle training. A major example to training kicks on the Zephyr mat is that you get a lot of focus on your stabilizer muscles because this isn't a solid surface. A simple kicking drill down the line will get your muscles working more than ever. Makes everything more fun! <laughs> Practicing doesn't mean that you have to do the same drills over and over again. Every now and then, it's good to change it up to keep your mind fresh. Maybe it's the kidding me, but training on the Zephyr mat makes practicing so much more fun and even more challenging. And even when I'm not training and this mat is out, I can't help but hop on and want to train a few tricks. When you enjoy what you're doing, you'll want to do more. So if there's something that will help me get better at my martial arts and make it more enjoyable, why not use it? And there you have it. My five reasons why you should be using an air mat for your martial arts training. Of course, you should train on both air mat and solid ground, but using an air mat will definitely add a new dynamic to your regimen. Great for home workouts. If you're a martial arts trainer, consider adding this to your equipment for your students to use and level up. Let me know how you guys would use an air mat in your martial arts training, and maybe we can trade some ideas in the comments below. Thank you again to Zephyr Mad for sending over the Zephyr 8, which is the product featured in this particular video. Please make sure to check them out for your next air mat needs. On their website, you can check out different sizes, shapes, and colors that will fit your training needs. Thanks for watching, kickers, and as always, remember, keep on kicking. And also, happy Halloween! Speeding.